You was mad at me. Yeah, you was yeah. mad at me, man. Yeah, what was yeah. you mad at me about, man? Some everything, man. <laughs> Talk to me. So, I mean, speaking of your mom, um, your mom had actually called me. She called you. Yeah. <laughs> your mom <laughs> called me, man. She, she called a tourist, me. so she's some bullshit. You responded to almost every single comment on your post. And, and there's almost a thousand comments that you responded to. What also was really kind of, I guess, troubling for a lot of people was the whole stripper situation. Where oh, I was just about to go on a rampage. You know, I, let me clear the record. I wasn't jealous at all. I ain't never been jealous of nobody, envy nobody, or hated on nobody. I was just going to go on a rampage. That's how um, another person called me that was connected to you. I'm not sure if she still is. Ooh. But your girlfriend at the time called me. She tracked me down. Call my phone. No, how they be finding your number? I couldn't find your <laughs> yeah. number. I've been trying to do it. Oh, she was asking me, "Can I take the video down?" I was like, "Why?" She was like, "Because every morning, the first thing that he does when he wakes up." <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Make sure you tap into my Instagram at Marcus the Interviewer. I'm gonna be posting some exclusive content like this stuff right here that you didn't get to see on YouTube. So tap in with me on Instagram. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews. Out here with the update. So guys, I tell you the universe loves me, right? So I'm just riding by. I see my guy, man. I, I had to stop and do the update. Um, but but first and foremost, you was mad at me. You was yeah, mad yeah. at me, man. Yeah, what was yeah. you mad at me about, man? Some everything, man. <laughs> Talk I'm, to me. Man. What was you mad at me about? I'm like, what the hell, man? I I, I needed some answers. I was like, shit, I ain't had no way of contacting you, but shit. Well, yeah. I mean, tell me what you was mad about. Tell, tell the people what you was mad about. Shit. Shit I seen on Facebook, I thought you got there, you know. I thought you were behind it talking about, oh, he should have stayed locked up. I hate when folks say that dumb shit because folks don't really know my heart like that, man. Nigga ain't know no bullshit no more. Nigga just trying to get some money out here for real. Right. And, I mean, I got that energy right away. I mean, even when we were doing the interview. And so I told you, and, you know, I'm going to say it out loud for everybody, right? So yeah. I don't run my Facebook, guys. Um, a company called Jelly Smack runs yeah. my Facebook. I don't even hardly touch it. I don't really go on that page a whole lot. Yeah. Um, uh, they split the profits with me, so it's a turnkey operation. They post, they edit, they comment, they do everything. All right. So if, if, if you, anything on Facebook rubs you the wrong way, yeah, <laughs> it's man. not me, okay? I feel, I feel. <laughs> all right, all right. But so besides that, man, how's everything been since the interview? Shit, great. Nigga just been rising to the top. A nigga on the rise, you know, self-motivated, you know, ambitious, all that, though. Super focused, all that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, we see that you're working. Yep. Um, you're working right now, so definitely congrats on that, man. So, um, how, you know, now, one of the things, you are a very unique interviewee in one specific way. You want to know what that way is? How? <laughs> you responded to almost every single comment on your post see, and and there's almost a thousand comments that you responded to yeah see i feel you see you like i got my mama dna and bloodline so you know too bad like i try to shake her so much but i'm just like her so you know just like her when the motherfucker got down talking about her you know you got to check them. Like, first of all, they don't even know me. So, you know, I got to clear my name. People trying to spread gay rumors and all that. Man, I had a prison telling in prison. Man, I watch flicks about six times a week on my prison telling. So I be <laughs> hating when people be hating on a person they don't even know. Then they be talking about me. But what about these child molesters? They are the ones should have life sentences or... or, or what about, you know, people act like they're so perfect, but they having sex before marriage. That's a sin. Or they stealing. That's a sin. So, you know. Right. So, you I mean, so ba ba right. basically, you know what I'm saying, no sin greater than the other, you know, all that good stuff. I get it. I get it. Yeah, people on their high horse, like, you know, but once I get to the top where I'm trying to go, you know, they're going to be all I mean, over. obviously it made you feel a way, though, right? Because, like you say, I mean, I get it, right? You respond and this and that, but, man, every comment. Um, that's my motivation. That's your motivation? That's my, every morning I read it. If I miss a morning or, or if YouTube restrict me for 24 hours, which they done did about 20 times, oh, shit. I'm going to come back on there and I'm going to clap back because they don't know me. You know, they, So YouTube has restricted you for 24 you hours? Made. Yeah, because motherfucker might say okay. something about me. Then, you know, I come back, you know, you come you're back trying to get hard. under my skin. I'm going to get under your skin. I'm going to talk about your man. I'm going to ask you what's your man's phone number, you know. I'm going to do something that's going to make you want to pull up on me, but you better pull up on me right because I ain't with that bullshit. 
Yeah, I can dig it, man. I can dig it, man. So, I mean, speaking of your mom, um, your mom had actually called me. She called you? Yeah. <laughs> your mom <laughs> called me, man. She, she called a tourist, me. so she's some bullshit. Well, I mean, it's like you say, you know what I'm saying? If somebody says something about you, or in this case about her, she wanted to make sure that, that she corrected the record and that I knew whatever it was that, you know, she wanted me to know. Oh, and so, man. yeah, she called me, man. She kind of gave me, you know, her version of events. Oh, man. Uh, what do you think she told me? Some bullshit because she's an over exaggerate. <laughs> One thing about me, I ain't going to lie on nobody. I'm going to tell it like it is. You know, my mom ain't just evil to me. She evil to everybody around her. My mom used to have parties, get drunk as a skunk. And kick everybody out the party at the end of the night. Everybody get the hell out of my yard. Then I be the one stuck, got to clean up everything. So, you know. So, I mean, I get it. I get it. But she was also saying that, like, stuff like, hey, you know, he basically just kind of threw his own future away. Like, he had she's a damn so many lie. chances with the she's basketball. A damn, she's a damn lie. She said on the that whole, you, you had, go like, get a, a you Bible. on the whole team. Go get a Bible. On the Holy Bible, my mama's some bullshit. That's why I don't respect that bitch. That's why I ain't got no goddamn respect or love for that bitch. When that bitch die... I don't give a damn. I'm not going to shed no tilt. She took me out the basketball team. She was a crack at it. Yeah, man. She the one used to drink London Dry Gin. And hey. she definitely uh, disputed the crack claim as well. Yeah, so, man, she's some bullshit. Talking about, I, they're just like a woman. I ain't, can't admit to their problems. And for the record, I don't got no problem with women. It's just certain women I have a problem with, you know. You know well, it, I mean, so ha have, you, have you had a chance to reflect on – you know, the, the reason why your story, um, you know, went light viral and, you know what I'm saying, did the numbers it did and everything else is because... There's a lot of mama boys in this world. There's a lot well, of people I ain't never had no messed up parent, you Well, know. The, the, the mama thing was obviously the big draw. But then what also was really kind of, I guess, troubling for a lot of people was the whole stripper situation where... Oh, I was just about to go on a rampage. You know, I, let me clear the record. I wasn't jealous at all. I ain't never been jealous of nobody, envy nobody, or hating on nobody. I was just going to go on a rampage. That's all. If anybody got a problem with it, they know what to do. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> but don't you see that as like, kind of like troubling and something that you may troubling. need to it, it, look a, into, look, maybe, you know what I'm saying, kind of correct or whatever? Look, I'm a psychopath. Because she's I, a stripper, I, right? I ain't, so nah. her, isn't her job to like dance with other guys and make them no, feel like... No, nah, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was just, you know, women play too many games. Women lead men on all the time. They're just like, I just got some pussy last night if you see the hickey right there. <laughs> yeah, went all the way to Lauren. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's not a tattoo. Uh, no, nah, that's not a tattoo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. But you can say my new tattoo to a way off. <laughs> But uh, anyway, yeah, man. So, I mean, speaking of women, speaking of women, yeah. um, another person called me that was connected to you. I'm not sure if she still is. Ooh. But your girlfriend at the time called me. She tracked me down, called my phone. I don't know how they be finding your number. I couldn't find <laughs> your right. number. I've been trying to do it all day, man. <laughs> nigga, nigga on the rise right now. You feel me? So, at the time, I'm not sure if she's still your girlfriend, but. Nah, that's who I seen last night. Okay, okay, she, okay. She my ex. You know, I'm bipolar, you know. When I don't have my way, I'm the baby in my family. So when I don't have my way, I just spaz block. out. <laughs> not, not spaz, just block women on. Not that's what I do now. Okay, because I'm so not trying don't... to go back to prison. So okay, I block so you don't them do on the violent stuff now. No, nah, I block them on Instagram, Facebook, block their cash out. You know, block everything. Because basically, she was saying, and she, what you just actually confirmed, mm -hmm. she was saying that, hey man, you know, she was asking me, can I take the video down? I was like, why? She was like, because. Every morning, the first thing that he does when he wakes up <laughs> is he goes to the bathroom and he checks the comments and he responds to comments. Nah, I don't every go to morning. no bathroom. I'd be all over. I might be walking down the street checking if I got to check it in the morning or might be smoking a cigarette. First cigarette of the day and go check it. But do you think that's healthy to do the first thing in the morning? Like the first thing when you wake up? <laughs> it's my motivation. That's, what, that's, motivation? How, that's how I got through the at work program at Atlanta Mission. You know, that okay. little bullshit they do in the motivation circle talking about motivate me that's my friend i told him that don't motivate me what motivate me is people that don't know me saying oh he's gonna be in prison by this time oh oh this dead and the third you're not no psychic that's why on my instagram page just say since everybody think they're psychic predict the mega millions first before you try to predict my, <laughs> my life future, right. Yo, so you know what so use it for something that's gonna benefit you instead of damn just skippy. tearing other people down right yeah damn skip it but like i said if you're trying to get under my skin i'm gonna get under your skin and then a lot of people i love the fact that i'm on your mind like why is I'm on your mind? You must ain't getting no real money out there. Why is I'm on your mind? You feel me? <laughs> I can dig it, man. I can dig it. I can dig it. All right, man. So, okay. So, 
you know, like I say, I mean, um, there was a lot of responses. Um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of negative responses, obviously. Uh, but then there was also some positive responses, man. Oh, like, yo. what's I, your response to those folks? I salute them. They, 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 they messing with the real. I don't know no other way but to keep it real, you know. They, they, they messing with the campaign, you know. So I can't do nothing but respect that. Okay, okay. I ain't mad at that, man. I ain't mad at that. So, I mean, every time I see you, man, you know, you be... You be clean, man. Nah, this, this <laughs> my work. This my work outfit. Cold out here, so I gotta take the on thermo off in there. This Fred Cap hoodie, you know, gotta represent our season. I almost say. Yeah, I see you, man. Yeah, I see man. you, man. That boy stay fresh, man. So I try to. So you know, what's your response to folks that say, "Hey, man"? When I clicked on the thumbnail, I thought that was ludicrous. Oh, yo, people been telling me I look like ludicrous off and on since seventh grade, but I don't see it. But, you know, I get Kobe light skin with a long face and some braids. You don't but see the, the resemblance to ludicrous? I seen it on my seventh grade picture, but not not with all the text. But, you know, I take it as a comment. It ain't nothing per, on personal. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. All right, man. And so, and so ultimately, man, like, you know, we're working, we're doing this stuff. Um, like I say, man, you know, and like you say, right? You don't you don't want to see yourself back in prison, nothing like that. Oh no, I'm not going back to prison. I'm praying every night, you know. So what are we night. what are we doing to prevent that? Because like I say, when when you just when we just talked about the, the stripper situation, you saying females playing with your emotions. That's and why this, I block the them now. I don't talk to several females while I've been in Atlanta Mission. And Atlanta Mission used to be a homeless shelter, but it's a transitional program right now. But like I hit up on. Why do you think all these females are? are, are you know, a lot of because, because, because you're kind of in a homeless state, so why do you think you're still able to get these females? Why do you think it's too what? Why do you think you're able to get these females despite being in your homeless situation that you're in? Because I'm a money maker, you know. I done made a lot of money doing what I do, what I do, what I do, you know, the legal way. So, you know, then it's my little charm and how I make them laugh. And when they pick me up, even though I ain't never had a car, give them some gas money. Take them out to eat, you know, chop it up with them on some real, you know, some real play and stuff. Yeah, man. I can dig I it, man. I always had it in me, man. Just I was on them drugs. But like I said, I've been eight years clean. So, you know, a nigga, a nigga focused, a nigga self-motivated, a nigga trying to go to the top. And ain't nobody going to stop it except God, you know. Have any um, have any ladies or anybody reached out to you from the video? Hell yeah, girls be sending me cash out. <laughs> Crazy women at that. The women that be reaching out to me, they kind of throw it. Wait, I, what are they doing? Man, I can just hear it in their conversation. You know, they say it take a crazy person to know a crazy person. So I can tell a lot on mental health. Some of them might send they number through a cash out message instead of hitting me up on social media. So I go and call them, see what they're talking about. Out of town women. So Have I'm you like, smashed any of them? No, nah, because they stay out of town. I tell okay. them, you ain't coming to Atlanta. So what are they just like fantasizing, talking uh, to you or something? Uh, like, man, these women are crazy, man. I ain't going <laughs> to lie to you, man. I'm just going to keep it real out here. These women are really crazy. <laughs> You know, you wouldn't be the first interviewee, man, that's gotten um, a lot of play off of being on my platform, man. Yeah, <laughs> so. I see you and Joshua, yeah. Me and Joshua, yeah, we up there, but, you know, I ain't him. I ain't none of them. I'm clean. I ain't got nothing. Oh, you talking about your size? You yeah, talking about yeah. Your size. Oh, yeah. I, I can't renounce it now. Yeah. <laughs> I just got off the phone with him, actually, man. He, he's... He's up in Ohio going back and forth, up and down, left yeah, and right. Yeah, I just want to see the young brother do better, man. Like I said, I ain't no hater, man. I want to see everybody do good, man. But, you know, if I don't like it, don't mess with you. I don't like it, don't mess with you. So, you know, but me, I ain't no hater. I, got, I get credit when credit due, you know. I can dig it, man. I can dig it. So, it's okay. So, you know, like I say, man, you know, congrats on everything you have going on. Where do you want to be or where do you see yourself five years from now? On the TV, making these haters more sick than ever. And that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, okay, okay. I love it, man. I love it, man. All right, well, look, I got the Georgia State Police. Uh, look like he's trying to pull up. I don't know what he's doing. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so let me let me wrap this up, man. Yeah. Listen, uh, is it? did we get your cash app last time? Yeah, yeah we did. Okay. Everybody Same doing, cash app? Yeah. All right, yeah, man. I don't really need y'all money. I'm out here hustling, man. Y'all ain't had to send me that, man. I ain't piss po. I ain't been pro. Well, I, I mean, but for whoever did, though. Yeah, I salute them. I appreciate right. it. Yo, okay, yo, they, sure. kept, they, kept, they kept the arm being and rolling. Yeah, a All little day, bit. man. All day. Mm. Well, look, man, you definitely be good out here, man. It's good to catch up with you, my boy. Yeah. And you got a direct line to me now, so yo. you can hit me direct if you ever feel the way, if you ever need anything. Yeah, right? I thought you was on some BS, man. You know, I was like, no, the hell this nigga did, man. We got to <laughs> see what Holmes got going on. <laughs> It's all love, man. All right, you make sure you be good today, all right? That's right. Yes, sir.